Mission News, KBTX News 3. Okay, take a look at the amount on that big check. You read right, it's for $100,000. And the student holding that check is AM Consolidated High School senior Kenson Shee. He recently won the top prize at the Siemens competition in math, science, and technology. And just last month, Kenson was featured as our gem of the day for winning the regional portion of that competition. Kenson, first of all, congratulations. That's incredible. Thank you. I imagine your parents were thrilled. $100,000, especially for college. It's getting expensive, but uh, we mm -hmm. can get to that in a moment. But congratulations. <laughs> and, Thank you. And to let you know, he won for developing a new method to improve robot motion planning. We were just talking about that. Can you explain that for us? It, you know, because it sounds obviously very brilliant, but dumb it down for us. Uh, motion, the motion planning problem is basically we have an environment with obstacles, for example, a room with furniture um, in it. And we have a robot. It can be pretty much any kind of robot. And we want to get this robot from this point to that point uh, without the robot actually colliding with any of the obstacles. So it seems very practical. You know, it sounds very sci-fi and things like that. But mm -hmm. it is something practical that I imagine any industry can use. For example, we've got Teaks who and the urban search and rescue team who do great things using yeah. pets and using robots and just technology to mm -hmm. do that. How do you even get started? Because, you know, we, as I mentioned, you were featured as our good news of the day when you, run the when you won the local competition, and then you got a chance to go to Washington, D.C. to compete in that. How do you even get involved in such a large competition and do so well? Um, well, I began uh, this project at the beginning of this past summer when um, I joined um, the Parasol Laboratory at Texas A&M, um, uh, which is co-directed um, co by my mentor, Dr. Nancy Mato. And uh, the lab's focus is actually the motion planning problem. So when I joined the lab, I naturally began to think of ways I might be able to improve our current solutions to it. And you know, for some students, math and science might not be their favorite subjects, but obviously, I mean, robots, who doesn't love robots? And being able to do things like that. Growing up, I imagine you've always done really well, you know, just because you did so great in this competition and putting that all together. Do you have any tips for kids out there or even parents with young kids who might want to motivate them and help them and encourage those math and science skills? Um, I remember one thing that really sparked my interest in, this, uh, in the sciences was uh, when I was really young, my parents took me to the uh, physics festival and the chemistry open house at Texas A&M. And those really um, brought in my view and opened my mind and made me question why does the world work as it does. And um, through those, I really became interested in just the sciences in general and also mathematics because really math is um, a foundation for the sciences. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, I got into computer science um, when I took some online computer science courses in middle school and um, it was really amazing because I found I could uh, pretty much tell the computer to do whatever uh, I wanted to and it would do it for me <laughs> and insanely fast too so yeah. that was really interesting for me. Very cool and you know we we know you won that great amount of money for college do you know where you're going or when you'll find out where you uh, will go? Um, I actually haven't decided where to go yet because I'm still in the application process. Okay, well, it sounds like any school will be just lucky to have you, Kenson. Congratulations so. again, and good luck <laughs> with you. that whole college application thing, and hope you hear something soon. And thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me.